Hello and welcome to Boozing with the Big Guy. I am the Big Guy Ryback. I'm sitting here, I got my beers, I'm looking at my birthday balloons. I got birthday balloons. You can see them. Look, I'm not making this up, guys. I always just shoot you guys straight. Birthday balloons from the mother. The mother, the mother gets me birthday balloons at 38 years old. Uh. Anyways, guys, welcome to another edition of Boozing with a Big Guy. Tonight's beer, Bud Light Lime. Bud Light Lime, guys. Once a week, I like to do a show where I sit back. I have, you know, we have whining with the Ryback. We have boozing with the big guy. Just relax. I don't go crazy. I'll have, I'll have six beers tonight. This won't even. I've had a couple prior. This is beer number, actually beer number four. I got my... Got these nice little pint glasses boozing with the big guy. You just smell it. Smell the beer. Smell the Bud Light Lime. Hey, you're a bitch drinking Bud Light Lime. Well, that's what I bought tonight, all right? So I'm bitching up. Wait a second. It, so the tablet, you guys witnessed the tablet having a lot of malfunctions early on. I think on the debut episode of Winning with the Ryback. And it's starting all over again. Viruses are taking over. And I only use this tablet for Instagram on this right here. Because it usually just sits in my kitchen and charges. Let's re it wants to restart the app. Okay. My personal computer, all I use it for is work. That is it. Oh, yeah, sure, buddy. Sure. Seriously. And it, it that... I had to put all the antivirus stuff on it, and then that runs out, and then all these viruses start taking over, and I'm convinced the antivirus companies put the viruses in there for you to buy. Their it's just all one big, just big ripoff. It's like those the, 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 the damn phone things calling you all damn day, telling you your social security has been hacked and you're at risk. Oh, really? Because I've lived 38 years completely fine, asshole. Now I'm at risk. You guys call me every day from a different number. New Jersey, California, Utah, my uh, Minnesota, Montana, North Dakota, South Dakota, fucking Washington, Rhode Island, Florida, Georgia, Alabama. They don't, they, they do these computers, guys. And then they want to say you're the robo killer. Conveniently starts popping up. I noticed this a couple years ago. Really, really pisses the big guy off. Got a block. I don't even answer my phone anymore. And when I do, I'm pissed off. What? Oh, hi. How are you? Good to talk to you. Yes, this is Damon John's assistant. How are you? Oh, hey, guys. Hey, how you doing? Good to, good to hear from you. Goddamn. Fucking calls are ruining my attitude. Guys, I'm joking. There's somebody. But seriously, I'm not, not completely joking, but I'm joking. Some people don't understand. My sarcastic sense of humor on everything. Tonight, guys, we read positive comments, maybe answer a few questions. God willing that Instagram works on this damn Samsung tablet. I like going with the booze and the glasses. I can drink a little faster. I'm going to be honest with you guys, though. For me to get even remotely weird on alcohol, on beer, would take... And this is drinking once every, like usually I do a couple glasses of wine with winding with a ride back. I would say it would take at least 18 of these to get me to start getting a little, a little where like I might have to watch the video back before I'd like have it sent off for editing, you know, but this no worries, which will mean I'll probably say something I'll regret tomorrow. All right, guys, let's just dive right in. Uh, I like, I don't know, they send me these when I ask for them. Kylie, thank you as always. You are a saint, and you make my life so much easier. 
because otherwise it's just craziness and madness. Ah, oh, macho madness. Oh, yeah. Here, let's go. All right, BB says, Ryback, you shouldn't have to change for anybody. You can't please everybody. The most important person that you have to please yourself. And by the way, your workouts look like they're really working for you. <laughs> Thank you. I can't hear that. I'm going to read that again. And by the way, your workouts look like they're really working for you. Looks like you're getting bigger every day. They're a big guy like you always say, feed me more cool shades for muscle flexes. Well, you saw the little thumbnail, and you would not be mistaken, sweetie. These muscles are getting bigger, and I was working out with Nick Best. That will be on Feed Me More Fitness, rebuilding Ryback this week coming up. And I uh, fixed my deadlift right away. I pulled 530. Haven't touched heavy weights in I can't tell you how many, how many years, guys. And uh, took all the strain off my back. I don't know. I might enter a powerlifting competition and go fucking win it. I don't know. I don't really get off on that kind of stuff, but I'm going to be working out with Nick probably a little bit more going forward. The guy is, he's on the, the history of the world's, the strongest man in history, strongest men in history. And uh, he is like 12 minutes from me. And I met him years ago here in Vegas. And, uh, but that's the whole point of just documenting everything is now that my health is to a point and letting everybody, it would have been probably pretty cool to document this all from the beginning. Um, but there would have been a lot of, there was, I don't know, I don't want to, just, it was, they would have been reading a lot of negative comments. Like, oh, you don't look the same. Well, I'm 280 still, asshole. Hey, you don't look the same. Well, I'm sorry, I can't lift heavy right now. I'm in there doing goddamn machine workouts to keep my sanity. But guess what? Somebody's getting his magical powers back. And that is a very scary thing for everybody. And my endurance is off the charts right now. And remind you, this is without drugs, minus TRT within the healthy mid-normal ranges. I am going to hit my prime. We're in it. We're going to it. And it's, it hasn't even, we haven't even gotten close. All right, that was, that was really egotistical, actually. Fuck. I, this is supposed to be, I'm sorry, everybody. Maybe this beer, I haven't eaten in a bit. Maybe it's getting to me. I'm getting really... Somebody just unsubscribe because I'm too goddamn arrogant. I got a comment like that the other day. I really felt bad about it because just, you know, I don't want to say anything mean. This is a positive show. But I'm confident. Is it, is it so damn bad to be confident? I'm also very humble. I make fun of myself all the time. I feel like if you make fun of yourself, that gives you like a pass. It's like if you're like Jewish, you're allowed to make Jewish jokes. I'm 2% Jewish. So I, it like gives me fucking straight up credibility to make Jewish jokes. What are you going to, I'm fucking 2% Jewish. Here's my ancestry report, asshole. Making fun of myself. I never knew it. I don't believe it. I think they messed it up with Indian, but they say I'm 2% Jewish, which does make sense. So on my saving habits, because I am quite the saver. Moving on. Vlog with Kaye and Josh. I liked this message. I'm not afraid to be laughed at because I'm a 38-year-old paraplegic and in a wheelchair. I don't worry about what people see when they look at me. I want to be loved for being real. You are awesome, buddy. Keep up the positive messages. We are definitely listening. Buddy, that's all I, I think that is. I applaud you. That is truly, truly remarkable. And... Um, I always, I, I really, really look up to people um, that have had life-altering experiences and things that, that change your life, and you, have, you are at a level mentally that, that most people will never comprehend. This one's for you, buddy. Very, very, very awesome, and thank you very much. And I think people, too, there's always... There's way more good than bad, guys. And we do the whining with the Ryback just to have fun. I don't lose any sleep over of this. I do reactions to try to get a laugh out of you guys and have fun. And don't, don't get me wrong. Some comments are pretty mean. But it doesn't. I've dealt with this for so long, guys. And it, there's 99% good, 1% of bad. And, it's, and it's, it's, I don't wish ill on anyone or anything like that. And 
And when I joke about the pit of spikes and slapping a little bitch, and it, it's all in good fun, guys. <clears throat> Sorry, little guy. All right. Ryback, could you do a food challenge? This is from John B. John B., everybody. Ryback, could you do a food challenge with Joey's World Tour? Maybe you could help him with his health. Oh, by the way, I picked up some Shell Shock Extreme Fat Burner. It seems to be working. It does not give me the jitters as other escalators do. I'm sorry you get the jitters in escalators. I, that's a hell of a... John B., were you drunk when you sent this? Hold on, guys. It does not give me the jitters as other escalators do. I feel like you meant other fat burners do, but it very easily could have been a self-autocorrect into escalators. I can't think of possibly anything else. It's really, that really bothers me. I, because I, I know you didn't mean to do this. We're going to move on. Plus, it does, help, it does help me with my blood sugar. Um, when I take it with food, I have noticed my blood sugar does not spike up as much. Thank you. That is a lot of the ingredients that we use in it. It is an amazing formula. Um, and I thank you very much for supporting Feed Me More Nutrition. Uh, I would be more than, than, uh, I don't want to say the word open with this. I would be more than, uh, I would say, I think it would be really cool. I want to do a lot of collaborations with a lot of different people. I think that is, um, provides the ultimate in entertainment when you take people from different worlds and you put them together, which is what I'm doing with the Feed Me More Fitness videos, is putting myself around people that are excellent in other things and, and helping build myself back up to hopefully make myself excellent once again in wrestling. And uh, by building an indestructible core and getting my body back and documenting everything. So... Um, but I'm, I'm very happy that, that, that everything's working for you with that, with the fat burner and the Feed Me More Nutrition. I, I put my heart and soul into that. And it is, uh, it's growing and growing and growing. And we have five months of, of escalated sales are hitting records every month. And it's going to be no difference this month. And December is going to be the best month ever uh, in the two and a half years. Oh, no, three years of doing this. So thank you very much. And uh, I've talked, like, I have no guys, like, it's a lot of people sometimes think, that uh, that that celebrities are people that are aren't open to doing things, and a lot of them aren't, and whatnot. I, I don't. If you ever meet me in real life, I I, I think I, I'm the, I'm the same now, and my like, and I've evolved in my thinking and whatnot. But how I I treat people, and um, I think you would. Say I'm pretty, and I I I hate when you, I don't want to say I'm down to earth because I think it's stupid when you're like, oh, I'm a good person. I hate it when people, you, you can't say that about yourself. Um, but I think that I haven't changed from what I was from um, when I was younger as far as my my outlook on things and my how I deal with other humans and whatnot. And I think it's fun to put yourself in situations with other people that provide good entertainment and, uh, and these people that are have excelled on YouTube and are, are doing absolutely amazing things. So... Craig Alderson, you're a legend, Ryback. I'm always liking your content. It is an absolute pleasure to watch your videos, and I love to spread positivity like you. Thank you very much, Craig. Just trying to be my best. I'm not perfect by any means. And um, I just have a... Uh, when I fell down the black hole of learning and reading and listening to audiobooks like crazy and reading... I've been reading since I was a kid, and... Um, it's simply passing on information that I have in my head that has helped me and that I think may be able to help some other people. And not everyone's going to agree with it. And then there's going to be some people that get upset and whatnot. But like, I, I don't give a fuck. I, I honestly don't give a fuck. I just want if people that understand, understand. And the ones that don't, don't. And I don't lose any sleep over it. And I, it's, everyone's going through different things at different times and certain things trigger things and you know, and I have, and I'm very understanding to that. Uh, I tried to warn you, says, I am addicted to this channel. Whenever I feel low, I come here and this guy makes me laugh out loud. That makes me feel good, buddy, because I'm dumb as shit. So I'm glad you, <laughs> but you know, I, I'm really glad that, that I've, I've, I've seen some comments like that. And um, it makes me happy to be able to provide some entertainment for some people again and uh, in my own way. 
and whatnot, and having full control over it, you know? And I got to admit something, guys, because I did it earlier. I opened this with my shirt, and I didn't use my bare hands. And the reason why I didn't is I got a couple, my, my hands got ripped open in several spots. It's hard to see. I've been putting a lot of Vaseline on them. Not like that, but to, to, to whenever I've found with wounds, whenever you cut yourself open, I'll put uh, Vaseline on it four or five times a day. And within a few days, it will be all healed up. But training with Nick Best, he uh, he kicked my ass yesterday, and I was moving some weight that I haven't moved in a very long time. Um, that guy is an absolute animal. Check him out. Follow him on Instagram, Nick Best. He's 50, I believe, 50, 51 or 52 now, and he's getting better every year. He's legitimately one of the world's strongest men. Strongest men. One of the world's strongest men. I don't know why I wanted to say he's... One of the strongest man. No, he's one of the strongest men in the world. Why is this giving me so much trouble? God, he's strong, okay? Okay. Instagram shut down because I yelled. Ah, all right. I love the variety. Uh, David Blaine. Is that the... Um, David Blaine? Is that the... Um, Magician? Must be. I love the variety that's on Ryback TV. From his food reviews, workouts, and mukbang videos, motivational quote vids, and his perspective on life and what he has to say is why I watch. Dude seems like an awesome person. David, thank you very much. That is what we exactly what we are doing, is just trying to provide um, Different content, and it's allowing me to do things and step out of my comfort zone a little bit because I kind of had to shut down for a bit to get better and uh, just and, and keep to myself for some time. And, and it was it was just what I felt I needed to do and, um, and, and just keep learning and reading and trying to figure out how I could fix myself. And then when the time felt right, I, I just I figured, you know what? I, um, I'm just going to start putting everything out there and, uh, seeing what works, what doesn't work and, uh, growing everything even further. So, and again, with everything with Sophie and, and having a little guy, like I'm, I'm locked down. I don't, I don't think a lot of people truly, truly understand the, the severity of that with Sophie. It's like, it's either put my dog down of with six back surgeries that I love more than anything. That's not in pain, but she needs constant care that, we, I can't, a Boston and a Frenchie, I can't like leave my house like I used to and let them just stay out. She'll break her back because they're going to play. And so, and they've gotten really good when I'm here and they listen to me. But if I were to leave them on their own and not be here, they would, these, these breeds love to play. They're little clowns. And it's, and I say that with a smile on my face because that is what they are. And they love to play. And I put them on my bed at night and they lie there and play. They, they just love to play. And she's the most loving dog. And so and it was, it's made it really, really hard to leave and do anything. And, uh, and boarding her when her back outside of the surgery, it's so sensitive. And there's like, it's, it's been a nightmare because I've been lucky enough to be here when it happens. And I literally take her right to the facility, which is across town. And they know me and I've been in there enough where they get her taken care of right away. If I wasn't though, in things, and there was a situation early on where she had to wait several days and paralysis set in on two of the different times and we had to reteach her how to walk again, which one for her is, is extremely difficult. And for me, it, it takes a lot of my time and it's something, and it's just been very stressful, but we've gotten through it. And I love them more than anything. And, and I will figure out a solution to all this as I always do, as I continue to get better. And, uh, but I don't like leaving, I got to leave them in cages and, uh, I'll even, I'll hear, I'll show you guys. Like I got their little cages over there and we got them big cages so they're comfortable and whatnot, but I got to keep them in cages when I'm not here. And they, they're not happy about that. I oh, got to set this damn camera back up. I got one of those, oh, this is going to, fuck, I'm going to look so dumb trying to fix this because it doesn't fix. It takes me a damn hour. Oh, blue steel. Come on. All right, almost. God, 
I got one of these. Okay, this is going to be... Damn it, Dells. I, everyone's laughing at me right now. You guys, I got one of these damn phone things that has a mind of its own. Okay, how the... <laughs> I can't write this. Jesus. Okay. Oh, wait. This is... Uh, you guys, this is... take. Oh, wait. I don't want to... So wait. There we go. Okay. Very simple. Shut up, all of you. Shut up. You understand me? The thing has the little bendy legs and they never go back into the same place and they slide all over this damn bar. I got to piss. Well, I'm not, we're not doing that on this. Because you're drinking piss. We'll piss with lime, asshole. Ivan Manzano. Hello, big guy Ryback. Big fan of your career. Your YouTube channel, big fan in general. You are very inspiring. I've gone through big surgeries and you have inspired me to fight back my surgery rehab and therapy. I believe in the term finish it. So thank you very much for your awareness. God bless you and your dogs too. I will continue to improve my health through hard work. Feed me more supplements and dedication. Feed me more. Thank you very much, Ivan. And um, it's something to me, The that term finish it, is a very powerful phrase and it's um i think it's very important we've talked about this on, on various things re re-racking your weights returning your shopping cart um just doing the little things at the end of the day and it's doing little things over and over again that will put you in a position to do big things later on and there's a lot of people that will look at that and not understand that and um or and maybe they won't understand it for some time, and many people go through their whole lives and not understand it. Um, but I've found for me and for my life that it is really, 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 truly doing things that seem very, very minuscule in the moment. They add up over time and they create good habits. And uh, it makes me very happy to, to be able to see the amount of people, because everyone... We all have our own stories and we're all going through shit. And um, there's a lot of you out there that uh, have a lot of injuries and things. And no matter what your current circumstances are, you know, I've just never accepted what's ever been told to me. And I just, deep down, I truly believe um, in what I'm going to do. So, and I've found that these injuries have strengthened my mind uh, over time. So I think it's, it's all on your mindset and not letting people dictate um, your life for you. And I've been very blessed to meet the people like Andrew Locke and guys like Brian Carroll, Nick Best, uh, and, and Brian with Stuart McGill that wrote the book, The Big Three, and Stan Efferding and Dr. Bo Hightower and these guys that have, and Trevor, Trevor ba 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 Bachmeyer, sorry, Trevor, uh, with Smashworks. And that I've taken little things from and applied them to me. And uh, it's essentially, and Andrew was, me and Andrew Locke were messaging today. And it's like getting a team together that is badass. That is, we're doing something right now. And I'm not tooting my own horn, but like this is uncharted territory with the stem cells and everything going on. And um, just in, even without the stem cells, there's so much more information now that we have that we can get ourselves better. It takes a lot of work though, guys. And I hate the, I don't, don't get me wrong. I fucking hate it. Like I hate doing the rehab. It's boring. It sucks. Um, and you got to find a way. You just got to get it done. And I do it. I try to get it done. I do it before my workouts and there's days I don't want to do it. And I'm just like, and I, but I know, I know if I do it every day and then I give myself a couple days off a week when I need it. That and it's just little progressions every week. And I, and like today, I was doing back and I was rowing on the T bar row. Um, I could never do over two plates without my shoulder grinding like crazy. And through all this stuff and the rehab and the stem cells with Andrew Locke and everything, today I went up to four plates and a quarter, um, which I used to do six, seven, eight plates on the rows on that. And, uh, but I'm did that no problems today with no grinding. And so, and it's been slow little progressions every week. And, uh, and the heavier I'm able to train again, 
the more muscle density I'm getting back, the, the better my body's getting because I'm not lifting just super light just to get some blood flow and whatnot. So it's um, just never give up on yourselves, no matter what anyone says. And I don't care who that person is. I've had doctors, guys, when I broke my ankle and I had all the nerve damage, which I'm getting it back with the newbie with Carlin Crouch and doing it with that, that newbie device. I'm like, I'm going to get my foot back with my big toe on the inside of my foot. Three doctors told me I would never wrestle again. I never once accepted that. I, I left their offices not even remotely thinking that was the case. I just remember thinking, they're fucking stupid. Really. And it's and not and doctors aren't stupid people. They're, they're the incredibly intelligent human beings. But I will never let another fucking human being tell me the way my life is going to go. And we all have that power inside of us. So if I can help you realize that, that makes me feel really good. The dude says, I swear if I'm having a bad day... All I need to do is watch your videos, instant pick me up. Thank you very much, dude. That's again, it's uh, try to provide a little entertainment and a little bit of information that's helped me. I'm not, I don't have all the answers to everything, but thank you. Anthony Q says, good news today. My blood sugar levels are normal. My testosterone is at a great level 500. That is good. Also my zinc, all thanks for the big guy Ryback for helping out. Don't do what I did. I didn't know how potent they were. I took four, bad idea. Horny as all hell, LOL. But my body is 100% great. And uh, I was almost at 200. I'm still, uh, I was almost 200 pounds. I'm still at 156. I believe you were talking about the big guy testosterone booster. And it is legit. And I tell everyone, go get blood work before you take it. And afterwards, it increases libido, sex drive, and it is a real true testosterone booster because I created it and I've taken herbs and everything with Feed Me More Nutrition to stuff I have actually created, guys, that has worked for me. So there's no bullshit. I, go get blood work before and after. That can't, total testosterone, free testosterone, estrogen, and you will see, you will see for yourselves the power of the big guy testosterone booster. What I'm doing with Feed Me More Nutrition, guys, and the cost this stuff costs me and what I'm selling it for, it should probably, like, realistically be twice as expensive and be premium, truly premium at a premium cost. I do not believe in charging people more money for wanting to be healthy. I think it's fucking stupid. And it, it, we live in a goddamn stupid world. I don't care. I, 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 I have a business. Of course I want to make money. That, at the end of the day, yes. But I was like, you should not make people pay more to do for doing the right fucking thing. And 99% of these stupid fucking supplement companies don't give a fucking shit about people's health. And I grew up with this shit and I won't put up for it. I will be the number one supplement company in the world doing it the right fucking way. So much shit out there. And it, it is something, it, it's now that I'm getting healthy again, it's, it, it, it just, it's a fucking disgrace. And I'm sorry I'm cussing, but it really pisses me off what these people do. And it's, and it's like, I'm not a, uh, uh, a chemist, a food scientist, and I work with a great team at Simpson Labs, but these are all formulas that have fucking helped me my entire career that I've come up with. And I talked to my good buddy, Kalen Croft, dude, Buster Croft, and, uh, and, and he, you know, he uses all the supplements and he loves it because the, they work. And it, it's, it's been a lot of trial and error. And this, this has been, I started taking herbs when I was like, when I was young, man, and just getting into this stuff and always spending just time in front of the computer, reading on stuff and trying what works, what does not and seeing what other companies are doing at a young age and seeing like, it was all scam after scam after scam. And I, so there's a lot of motivation behind this and wanting to put out a really, really great product and, uh, and using stevia and monk fruit. And I'm very passionate about it. So thank you very much. It makes me happy to see that people get results from these. Um, I'm going to do one more because I don't want to be a real chatty Carl here. Last comment, uh, D11 says D11. This hard bastard definitely eats screws and nails cereal with protein shake in it. And that was on a, a challenge for the, um, the, the spicy, the, the chocolate bootla pepper, I believe, which I called it chocolate Buddha pepper because I didn't look it up before. And I just said, oh, it'll be funny if I say chocolate Buddha. It's chocolate bootla. So, and the world's hottest chocolate bar, which definitely the almond milk definitely made it not as bad. I, th I thought it was going to burn like hell still. And it didn't, honestly, guys, 
that was probably the easiest challenge I've done yet. So <clears throat> my next challenge, I'll eat fresh peppers. I'll eat a bunch of them and uh, we'll do a really hot one and uh, try to fuck the big guy up on that. It's, uh, I got him sitting in my refrigerator still from Johnny Scoville. Big shout out. Follow the Chase the Heat with Johnny Scoville. Great guy. And um, always, always thank you to the Bell Life for the shout out. Great guys. Would love to do a collab with them eventually here too. If they're able to come to Vegas, make it easy on the big guy, guys. Guys, I got guest rooms here. We'll get a bunch of shit filmed. We'll do a bunch of challenges. Do some paint gun stuff, do some spicy challenges, do some, some food eating contests. They got the heart attack grill out here. They got a hell's kitchen with the hottest wings in the world, which have just tortured human beings out here, which I don't even want to do, but I would do it if I was with the Bell Life brothers, uh, Justin and Trace. So, but guys, thank you very much for watching. Be good human beings. Let's try our best. Hold the door open. For people, smile occasionally. Don't just always be fucking mad or walking around with our cell phones. Smile at a young lady. Hey, how you doing, sweetie? Looking good. Hold the door open. Return your weights. Re-rack your weights. And return your shopping carts. I'm the big guy right back. You've just watched another episode of Boozing with the Big Guy. Hey guys, it's the big guy Ryback, and I just want to say thank you very much for watching. Go ahead and punch that like, smash that subscribe button, and check out my all natural su my all natural supplement line. Supplement, supplement. Stupid. My all natural supplement line. Feed me more nutrition available on Amazon and feedmemore.com. And as always, Conversation with the Big Guy Ryback available on all podcast platforms, iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, and wherever podcasts are available. Never forget, feed me more. Thank you for tuning in to this segment of Ryback's Conversation with the Big Guy. Watch full episodes here on YouTube. Subscribe if you're new. Smash that like button if you had a great time watching. And for all supplements, check out feedmemore.com.